What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to just have a little chit chat, talk about where have I been, why haven't I been recording videos, and products that I've been loving, products that I have to talk to you guys about it. It's like a girl's talk, like let's sit down and, and share products that we are currently loving and um, that you recommend and I recommend for you. I pretty much have like, I stay to, I, I'm very close to trying new makeup this month, past months I have branched out and tried other makeup and that is the reason why I'm sitting here and talking to you guys about them. Alright, so I'm gonna start with skincare because that's pretty much what, how I like to go. I like to go with like hair and then I like to move to skincare and then I like to move to everything else. So I'm gonna start with skincare because I really want to share with you guys this amazing products that I got in the mail. Like, oh, holy Jesus, ballers. It's like a mad bag. Okay. All right. Um, have you guys heard about Formula 1006? I think it's 1006. No, 1006. Formula 1006. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Um, if you guys show you the little bottles, you probably um, might see it. And these products right here, guys, these are um, facial mask, peel off mask, or um, wash, or scrubs, or they're just pretty much skincare. They're our mask. Um, I received five of them in the mail and I was like, oh my god, my girl Melissa from Primp and Prime Beauty recommended these and I was like, I need to try. So I was actually excited to get these in the mail and I was like, you know what? I am loving these things. Let's try them. Um, I'm going to start with the first one, the white one. This one right here is the, as you guys can see, this one here is the Berry, Be Very Sassy Exfoliating Face Scrub with Cranberry and Bamboo. So this one right here, it says that it revives your skin with this deep cleansing face scrub. Packed with cranberries and bamboo to repair and restore, giving you a vibrant and sassy glow. Oh, you know me very well. Sassy. Level 100. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I was very skeptical to trying these because, again, I'm very sensitive. I break out just to the thought of trying new makeup. Bam! I break out. So, I was like, I'm going to give them a try. I probably am missing out on so many products on skincare because I'm so scared. So, let's just give it a try. If I break out, then, you know. So, what I did is I tried the first one, which is this one right here. My favorite. This one is the Berry Smooth Moisturizing Peel Mask. And it's blueberry and pineapple. And this one says it treats yourself to a moisture-rich mask that combines the antioxidant richness of blueberries along with the invigorating power of a pineapple peel. And reveals super soft, very smooth skin. So this is the purple one right here. This is the um, moisturizing one. And I have very dry skin. So I try this one first and... My life has never been the same. <laughs> I felt so good. Like my skin felt really moisturized, very hydrated. And I was like, this is, this. I'm liking this. Then you have the Skin Calming Gel Mask. This one's not a peeling mask. This is just a gel mask. You apply it again, 10 to 15 minutes. And then you rinse it with warm water. And it just, this one has coconut and cucumber. And it just kind of, kind of like, come to your face normally if you like are breaking out and you have like breakouts and they're like your face looks very um harsh like you know like it's going through a tough time i recommend using the green one it's going to calm and hydrate and smooth your face and it's going to make it a lot brighter the other one that i love i am obsessed with is the orange one i have two orange this one's like the peach one i would say this is get your glow oil oh get your glow on Skin Brightening Peel Mask with Papaya and Citrus. This one is the um, Skin Brightening one, and I love using this one as well. This one is the Peel Mask. And the last one is the one that I haven't tried, but I have tried every other one, and they're amazing. So I'm pretty sure when I try this one, I'm going to be obsessed with. My favorite detox mask, mud mask, is the... um charcoal mask by derma e like that's my holy grail so i'm i'm gonna give this one a try this is the deep 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 down detox ultra cleansing mud mask with orange and bergamot so i'm gonna i'm try this one but guys if you haven't tried formula 1006 i highly highly recommend it i am going to leave a little um i'm gonna leave a link to their instagram just in case you guys haven't tried them and you can check them out you can find these at target so they are on the drugstore they're not expensive so the other thing to wrap up like skincare because i have been obsessed with skincare lately like i have been more obsessed with skincare than 
anything because it, the flawless makeup application starts with taking care of your skin. So the other thing are the Pixie. These are, um, I received these um, mists in the mail. These four mists right here. Um, uh, this one, I received a couple of them, but the one that actually has caught my eye and I was like, this is amazing, is the Hydrating Milky Mist. And this one is like amazing. It's pretty much a hydrating mist. You can use it at night, you can use it before you go to bed, or you can use it before your makeup or whatever. And what I like to do is I like to use it at night before I go to bed and then apply my moisturizer. And then I like to apply it before my makeup. Like, I love this thing. This smells really good. And it definitely, definitely moistures, moistures my skin and refreshes my skin. And I'm like, yes, I am digging you. The other facial spray that I have been obsessed with is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. This is pretty much, this is by Scandinavia, and um, if you know, Scandinavia has this special um, facial sprays, which are amazing. And this one is by them, and pretty much it's just a prep spray. This just pretty much gives you skin balancing, even skin tones, and it's oil absorbing. So if you have oily skin, oil, you know, if you have like an oily T-zone or whatever, I highly recommend it. I like to apply this right after I apply I apply this first and then I apply this before I do my makeup and then I apply my moisturizer or I don't even have to apply a moisturizer because I'm applying this here so it just pretty much works with you but this I highly recommend for before makeup it kind of preps my skin and I love the finish that it gives into my skin absolutely amazing it's the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, setting spray I am a fanatic when it comes to the setting spray for Gerard Cosmetics lay all day but I have seen that that one kind of tends to dry out my skin and I'm like mm, I'm still a fan but you know if I have my options I like to take them and this makeup setting spray from uh, Urban Decay I know it's been around for a while but I had just gotten my hands on it and I am absolutely loving this right here so the other thing before we jump into makeup will be um I want to share with you guys what I've been using to tan lately. I like to use on top of the tanning, I like to use the Say Hello to Sexy Legs. I don't know if you guys have seen this around. This is pretty much makeup for your legs and it's not used as a skin, it's not used as a tanning, um, a tanning product because you wear it and you wash it off. But this is a tinted glow gel and it's an instant perfection, like it blurs anything on your legs and it definitely gives you a more healthy looking um skin to your legs and i absolutely love it i also love the high the highlighting powder it's like i'm sorry the highlighting fluid it's so so good i'm like oh my god so guys i highly recommend this line now for um spring and summer if you want your legs to look a lot more on the glowy side very sun-kissed very healthy looking i highly recommend using the say hello to sexy legs because it's super 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 good we're gonna jump into oh one last thing that's not related to makeup and it's my current perfume you guys have been requesting for me to do a perfume an updated perfume collection i did one like about a year and a half ago and you guys loved it i will do a new one pretty soon because i have been using a lot of new perfumes lately that i want to share with you guys so stay tuned because i will give you guys a updated uh, perfume collection so this one right here i got sent over by este louder este este louder este Steel louder, steel. I don't even know how to say this. <laughs> and it's called the Modern Muse. And oh my God, it's such, it's such a clean, fancy, expensive, flirty smell. If that makes any sense, I mean, I am truly obsessed with this smell. I, it stays on for a very long time. It has a good like um a good base so it stays on you like for a very very long time guys like if you like the sweet flirty scent but that you know that it smells good and that you're going to hug someone and that person is going to stay with your scent all day i recommend it stay stay louder stay louder stay louder in spanish it's called stay louder honestly that's how i say it stay louder <laughs> and 
is called a modern muse i am going to um put a link down below to where you can find it and it's super good oh my god i love it it smells amazing guys i wish you can smell it through the camera like honestly that would be amazing you'd be smelling all type of things in here <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and dive into makeup so we can finish and wrap this thing up um, I'm going to start with the lashes that I have been obsessing over. Let me just take this one out of here. And I have been wearing nonstop the Pure Lashes. Pure came out with new lashes about two or three months ago. And they have six different styles. And I have been obsessed with all of them. I only have like four styles left. And I'm so, so sad. The I'm wearing right now is their Flirt. Their Flirt, um... Their floor design um style the other ones that i have here is the bombshell which is i am dying to wear these i'm trying to do a look hopefully soon with these and then the last one i have is called socialize and this one is a more demi demi wispy look type of thing totally obsessed with them like i'm going to also leave the link down below so you can check out the other if you're a lash an fanatic or an addict <sighs> those pure lashes are pure goodness guys all right for foundation i'm gonna run quickly i have two that i have been mixing and obsessing with of course it's my holy girl the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation i have been mixing it lately with the nyx total control um the total control foundation so this pretty much gives me like a little bit of more color a little bit more of the coverage that i'm looking for and i have been obsessed with the way my skin looks when I pair these two together. The other thing that I have been loving, oh, should have mentioned before, I went back to this baby because I received it in my birch box for the month of uh, April, March, and I was like, oh, where have you been all my life? I used to use this Matchbox Photo Finish Primer forever, and I used to be obsessed with it. I just stopped buying it because it was so expensive, and I kind of tried started using the Nivea. Um, shaving post shelving balm which was the one that i've been using and then i received the other in the mail whatever 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 but this is one of my holy girls primer in history um two things right now my concealer it's one i go to every time i try to buy a cheap concealer and it's the nyx hd concealer it is not an over the top um extra coverage but if you feel like you need more coverage you can do another uh, another layer or you can use a color corrector and it's super good it brightens my under eyes like cray crap then for stick con for contouring i'm trying again the whole um trend to use with like i want to jump in the trend to use like contour with cream and give you guys more tutorials with using cream contour so i tried i didn't want to go and buy one expensive and then i didn't know how to use it or i didn't know how to like i didn't like it i am using the dual end contour stick by wet and wild and absolutely amazing it was like four bucks and it, i haven't used this side it's like the concealer one like to highlight and then on the other side you have the um contour color the contour stick and i have been using this and i love it it's super creamy and it's super blendable and this is the medium and tan i have been obsessed with that um for us uh -huh. look at this guys <laughs> look at this ah! this is a beauty like oh my god i can't believe i waited so long to buy the huda beauty palette rose gold palette look at this thing like yes guys yes 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 <laughs> this palette is bomb like i'm obsessed with every color like every time i use it i clean it because i'm just like this is a beauty this is a baby this is something that you need to take care of and you need to tell your children your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren about because it's that good it is that good if you have not gotten your hands on it it is a little pricey um but i it's so worth it guys like it is so worth it i did not buy it on the huda beauty um website because um it's 65 dollars but they were charging me 25 dollars for um shipping and handling and taxes and i was like i'm not paying close to 100 dollars for a palette so when sephora released it i was like your minds so I was really excited about that. The other palette I've been using and obsessed with has is the Pixi 
and it's duty time collaboration they are all warm colors and they are super super cute and they're super pigmented colors you guys have seen me use it before this palette is really really good and of course guys the highlighting palette by Nicole and Anastasia like I needed to buy it I needed to have it it's one of the most amazing highlighting palettes that I have ever owned in my life and I highly recommend it if you haven't purchased it I don't know if you can purchase it still but I just have to say that I'm really glad I got my hands on it because this is one of the things that you say I'm going to buy it because it's Nicole. Like, come on. She was the one reason why I started all of this. My goal is to one day meet Anastasia face to face. And you guys made it to the end, so you guys have to give yourself a round of applause. And guys, thank you guys for your continuous support. This is my beauty favorites, like products, but I'm going to do a part two to this video, which is going to be my lifestyle slash fashion. I have been obsessing with a couple of things for fashion, like shoes, purses, clothes, and lifestyle things that I want to order. I wanted to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that video. And um, yeah, thank you guys for your love and your support. Remember to follow me on my social medias right down below. Everything you can contact me, it's right down below. Do not hesitate to shoot me a message. I always answer. People are like, you answered. What am I supposed to do? Ignore your message? No. So yeah, anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button right down there. Right down, right, right there. <laughs> and share with me some of your favorites, products that you are obsessed with. Leave it on the comment section down below. Uh -huh. And as usual, thank you so much for sticking till the end. Nos besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my following video. Bye.